Well, hello, 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 everyone, and welcome to this channel. If you are a new subscriber, welcome back. If you are a new subscriber, I welcome you um, in Jesus Christ's name, of course. So today I have something very, very important to say. Um, the Lord has given me many names over the last, maybe say six months, maybe a year. And after much praying, of course, and some of it, or a lot of it, I had to do some research actually. I'm going to tell you this, this part of the video that I'm going to attach, I already done it. It was in another video. I know as believers and people in general, when we see a video that's now, let me say with believers, when we see videos like this that are an hour long, we probably won't really, like, well, okay, I may listen to the first 10 minutes of it and come back to it later. And then sometimes we may not. When we see videos that are two hours long, no, we probably like, uh, that's too long. Even if you break it up, I've had to listen to a five hour, 17 minutes and 11 second video. And it was, um, it was a testimony with so much, so much, so much more. I encourage every believer that really should listen to it, especially when it comes to the entertainment industry. I, I'm never looking at it that way again since I listened to this young man. His name was Alton and Childs. And uh, if you check the description, I will leave the link in there. It was taken down from YouTube, but it is available on other platforms. Anyway, getting into this video, when the Lord gave me Aaliyah's name, like I said, I had no idea. Uh, this plane crash, uh, unfortunately, she lost her life, was August 25th, 2001. So next month, it will be 23 years. So not only was it the pilot, um, and eight people including her so that's nine people that lost their life on that day it was reported now allegedly and it was a several news article some may not have been as detailed and there was even a person that wrote a book saying that Aaliyah when she seen the plane had premonitions about it she did not want to get on the plane and that's what it was reported and according to a report that she asked for something for a headache and she was given a sleeping pill and carried on to the plane anyway. Well, shortly after takeoff, she, you know, the plane did a nosedive and crashed and burned. So that means, uh, I believe it might have been one person that may have was taken to the hospital but ended up dying, by, by allegedly. But, you know, tragically, all of their lives ended, no matter how old they were, all of their lives ended. And uh, Aaliyah came into the music entertainment industry at a very young age. I'm, she was even on Star Search, and that was a very old picture. I don't think she won, but that's how far back it goes. So I'm going to do a few housekeeping. A few notes that I had, actually, grab my phone. So I was going over my notes, and this was from, I thought it was from July 2023, but it was from March 2023 when the Lord was giving me some instructions on some assignments. And he said, my child, your next assignment will be dangerous. And I wasn't in fear. I was like, uh, Lord, what are you talking about? And I said, what assignment? And he asked me, do you want your earthly assignment or your heavenly assignment? I said, okay, well, well I'm still here on this earth, so <laughs> I guess I'll take the earthly assignment. And he didn't say anything. I said, well, Lord, can you at least uh, give me a hint, give me a clue? So he gave me four of the apostles' names. So I went to go look at each of their lives and examine it and really study it. I said, okay, well... Not saying it wasn't their lives wasn't important. I just said, okay, I'll just leave this page, uh, doggy ear, and come back to it. And then, as I was listening to a pastor yesterday, which was an uh, old recording, he was going through the books of Roman, and he mentioned um, someone wrote a letter into the to the ministry asking about uh, who the two witnesses are. And he said he believed it's Elijah and Moses. He said they were there at the Mount of Transfiguration. And the same 
apostles that the Lord's name gave me, it was the same names that he named. Uh, minus, yeah, he did say, he said, um, he said James the Great, John, uh, Peter, and Judas Iscariot. We know what happened with Judas Iscariot, but he did end up mentioning him later on because he was talking about the, uh, the cast and lots was actually was when Judas uh, gave up his position for what he did. They had to vote in another apostle. So that's what his name came in at. But the other three named James the Great, John, and Peter, who he named was at the Mount of Transfiguration. So anyway, we know what the apostles did in the book of Acts and during that time. So there are some names that will come up that if the Lord didn't think I could do it, then he wouldn't have given me this assignment. So I do want to say that. And no, I'm not scared say that and yes I had to go through some more and more training more hardships more of a lot of things but that's the way he trains is those that he's called many are called few are chosen yet the harvest is plentiful but the laborers are few so let me get back into this video because you probably wonder what does that have to do with Aaliyah what this has to do with Aaliyah um, and I've had probably 30, at least 30 confirmations about her death. The last three were actually this past weekend. Um, it was Sunday? No, Saturday night. I just saw her face. And before somebody said, that's necromancy and this and that, I didn't say I talked to her anything. I just seen her image. That's what I saw. And then yesterday morning, which was Monday, I saw her face. No, it might have been Sunday. One of those days I saw her face again. And then this morning, no, I'm sorry, yesterday morning, early, I was up early praying, and it was another confirmation regarding that, regarding Leah. And then early this morning, I was up looking for, you know how you can, when you buy back to school supplies, I was looking at labels because I bought them before. They go on supplies, clothes, and things like that, especially for the younger kids. And I was gonna order my daughter a um, one of those cups, like a tumbler, for her, for her for to have water at school. And I wrote down the time. It was 4:27 a.m. today. It's Tuesday, July 30th, 2024. And as I was looking to select one of the fonts to have her cup monogram, you know, it's different font names. This font was named Baby Girl. I said, okay, Lord, I hear you. And he clearly, clearly, this message has to go forth. Clearly, what truly happened to Aaliyah was tragic, truly. And I'm not, he's not leaving out the others. But like I said, this entertainment industry is not what people think. You're looking at the glitz, the glam, the makeup, the stylists, the clothing, the fancy cars, the money. You have People have no idea what other things are attached to this. You're signing up for basically a, yes, a written contract, but it also comes with spiritual implications as well. Uh, and I'm not blaming her, her mother, her father, any of that, but she started out at a very young age. So for those that are listening, if you want your, because I'm seeing other little kids on TikTok with grown people with, I didn't say they did anything, but I'm just saying, older celebrities that have been in the light already and here they are bringing in these kids well you have to do whatever they tell you to do and these are most of them start out as kids so of course they're going to do what they're supposed to do anyway i'm going to attach that video that i already recorded this video this part of it is out of the video that i did pertaining to jay-z yes mr sean corey carter from New York. Yes, that's the only Jay-Z that I know of. So without further ado, I'm going to attach that. And I'll be back with my final words. Well, you know, in learning all this in preparation as I'm finishing this up, because there's still much more to present, but I didn't want to make it so, so, so long. In regards to Mr. Sean Corey, Jay-Z Carter, who is, it is about, even though there were other names mentioned in this presentation, I do have to end this part with a 
summary, also with a warning, without being in fear, because yet this is dangerous to talk about. And a part of me wants to is saying, why so dangerous? Why things that are secret that we're not supposed to know about, that they don't want us to know? And then still going back to that letter this young man wrote. We've known about Jay-Z for a number of years. Even if you don't listen to rap music, if you are a born again believer, trust me, you need to know this. Isn't it isn't always about color? We, we are in this world, but we are not of this world. There is a lot of hidden secrets. As he said, he chose to live the lifestyle of the beast. And saying all of that, Jay-Z is a liar. Jay-Z is a master mason. He's a master of his craft. It's on his clothing. It's in his music. If you take your time and look, it is all there. When the Lord gave me his name, I had no idea all of this was in this music and stuff. We'll go to these concerts. We'll buy these CDs, stream music, download, all of that. He is one of the most influential people in the music business as it is related to hip hop and rap because though that is one of the most dominating one of the most popular genre genres right now and it has been that way for some years he is a master of his craft you have a master worth a billion dollars by stepping on people yes he has stepped on a lot of people in this game and it is dirty the whole thing with rock nation he had rock aware they formed rockefeller records together the lord says that jay-z stepped on dame dash like an ant cheated him out of all this money and i don't know neither one of them never had a conversation with him i've seen the interviews that damon dash has done the lord says he stepped on this man Squished him like an ant. This was his friend that they used to sell drugs back in the day. Just so you can be in corporate America that they don't care about you. As Altian Child said in this presentation. Some things are still hidden. But the more you move up, when you belong to them, you belong to them. If you're celebrating... uh there is no sin that's only nature you can rob steal and kill and don't care that's inhumane so if i'm as i'm wrapping this up i must say this dangerous in fact yes so if anything happens to me it won't be because i killed myself number one it won't be because i was doing something i had no business or i just died of something no it won't be because I serve the most high God and he has angels around me to cover me. So at the end of this, for me, you, yes, Sean J.C. Carter, I'm not scared. Your quote about uh, Jesus can't save you. Life begins when the church ends. Let me tell you something, because you know all what has been written in your books and all of these things, the Freemason books and dogmas and morals and Alistair Crowley and all of this. He can save you. He will. If you were to believe in him, first of all, you must believe. Second of all, confess and repent from what you have done because Satan can't save you. He was cast out of heaven because he tried to overthrow God. God created him. Jesus Christ made Lucifer or Satan, however you choose to address him. First of all, now, let me say this so I can keep on going and get done with this because I do have other things I need to present after this video is done. Sir, Jay-Z, you really going to need to confess with this one. You may not, but I'm going to say it because this is my job and my life is on the line too, but I'm not giving in to fear. For what you have done in the past that people don't know about. As well as with children. Yes, I'm saying that publicly. He has done some things with children too. 
inappropriately. A whole lot of things. And Beyonce isn't innocent either. As well as for this thing to be made to look like an accident because you were rejected and I guess your manhood was crushed. You, Jay-Z, Sean Corey Carter, the Lord Jesus Christ knows everything. He knows all things. He knows what happens. You and to the world that you may know that I, Naisha, prophet of the living God, servant of the most high God, as the Lord has said many of times, that Jay-Z is responsible and in fact did have Aaliyah murdered. Made it to look like an accident. You are a witch. Very well capable. You have a very dark soul, spirit, and heart. And the only way out is the Lord Jesus. He had Aaliyah murdered. Made to look like an accident. So, in fact, Jay-Z has innocent blood shed on his hands. Not only her death, but the pilot and the other passengers that were with her. So the death of Aaliyah is at the hands of a man by the name of Sean Jay-Z Carter. And the Lord God is calling you to repent and confess before it is too late because this is not hell. Hell is a place of weeping and gnashing the teeth and torment. That's the word of the Lord regarding this. In Jesus' mighty name, because he is coming. Amen. Okay, so I want to finish this part up. You heard what I had to say, um, what the Lord would have to say. And I wanted to add the following scriptures to it. And I'm going to end this with a prayer. First John chapter 1, verses 9 and 10. If we confess, meaning admit to our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness, not some, all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar and his word is not in us. Romans 6, 23, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Christ our Lord. Proverbs 6, 17 and 19, a proud look a lying tongue and hands that shed innocent blood and heart that devises wicked imaginations, feet that be swift and run into mischief, a false witness that speaketh lies and he that soweth discord among brethren. Isaiah 59 verse 7, their feet run to evil and they make haste to shed innocent blood. Their thoughts are thoughts of iniquity Wasting and destruction are in their paths. Psalm 106, 38. And shed innocent blood, even the blood of their sons and their daughters, whom they sacrificed unto the idols of Canaan. And the land was polluted with blood. There's a lot of innocent blood in this land, in the, in the earth period, especially here in America. Daniel 4, 31. Before I read that, the Lord said that, Jay-Z, Mr. Carter, is compared, he's like a King Nebuchadnezzar. And if you know the story of King Nebuchadnezzar, he had to be humbled. Um, Daniel 4.31, while the word was in the king's mouth, there fell a voice from heaven saying, O King Nebuchadnezzar, to thee it is spoken, the kingdom is departed from thee. And I have one more scripture. This is Ezekiel. 30, I'm sorry, Ezekiel 22, verses 30 and 31. And I saw for a man among them that should make up the hedge and stand in the gap before me for the land, that I should not destroy it, but I found none. Therefore, I have poured out my indignation upon them. I have consumed them with the fire of my wrath, their own way I have recompensed upon their heads, saith the Lord God. So my prayer is for Mr. Carter, Lord, as you have instructed me to make this portion of the video regarding Aaliyah, that I was standing in the gap to make up the hedge that he would not be destroyed. 
that even if you have to humble him like you did King Nebuchadnezzar rather than him perish because Mr. Carter has said out his own mouth in this four separate video that he does not believe in a hell. Some people believe that hell is just that we hell is on earth or some that are in the occult believe that um, hell is a different place where there's partying and there are other things. And that's a testimony from somebody else. I will have to get into another video. But as believers, we know in the Bible, hell is a place of weeping and gnashing of the teeth, a place of eternal torment. So, Lord, that is my prayer for Mr. Carter's um, in this video. And by chance, if this video is no longer available on YouTube, it will be on other platforms. So I would ask you to just check in the description or on my profile, the channel information, and you will see links to the other platforms that it's on. And that is the word of the Lord regarding the death of Aaliyah. And may you be glorified in Jesus' name. May you be glorified. Amen. So I want to say I give the Most High, the Most High God, the only one that has shed his blood, the only one that can save us from the hour of temptation, the only one that can forgive us of our sins, the only one that died on the cross. No other man would do that. And no other man can compare to him. So, Lord, I want to thank you for trusting me to do this and giving me the time and opportunity that your will will be done in the earth before time runs out. Because truly time is ticking. So I give you glory, honor and praise in Jesus mighty name. Amen. Amen. And amen.